Indus is the only team registered from India and seek to represent the aspirations of the next generation innovators and explorers. Part of Team Indus's mission, as well as Google Lunar X Prize, is to get the next generation excited about math, science, and spark their imaginations. Hi, I'm Anita. I'm the illustrator for Team Ducky's Range of the Robot Journey to the Moon Outreach Project. The goal of the storybook is to spread the word about GLXP and moon bots, also to get kids excited about STEM. Team Indus is my favorite team because they are dedicated to education outreach. Not only are they willing to mentor our MoveBots team, but they also reach out and collaborate with young minds globally. Hi, I'm Stefan. Team Indus is my favorite team because they think of innovative solutions and they don't stop with just the minimum. Not only are they planning to go to the moon, but they will be attempting the endurance and distance challenges as well. Team Indus Lunar Lander will use a unique braking mechanism during its descent and then will use differential electronic heating to survive the lunar night. One lunar night is 14.5 Earth days with temperatures from 120 degrees Celsius to negative 180 degrees Celsius around the lunar equator. My robot design strategy has been to minimize component task complexity while adding to more redundant additional components where possible. Trip Beam Sensor, making the robot more aware. I figured we could use light sensors in a completely unconventional way. Instead of using them to look at the ground or walls for different light values, our team will use two light sensors to make a trip beam. One sensor shines light into the other, and the other just reads the light value. If the light gets blocked, the robot will know it can't move any further on that path. Two motors, specialized function for each. Instead of having a single arm to do many things, I figured JAWS 2 can easily use a power function motor along with an NXT motor which allows our arm to go up and down and will open and close the claw. Attaching the second motor underneath the first motor would still allow us to transfer the rotary movement to the end of the arm. This is sure to add dexterity and precision to our robot's function. Hi, my name is Mary Rose and my favorite GLXP team is Team Indus because their team has inspired ours by their quick responses, their encouraging words, and their wisdom. Their words have inspired us and become a key theme in our community outreach storybook project. They reminded us that the true competition lies within oneself and that if winning is everything, the journey is equally, if not more, important.